What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Big Fight Field channel, where we speak the truth, we're honest, and we give our takes on the on um, on pro wrestling. Man, I had a video planned today, and if my voice seems so low, I'm just extremely tired today, and I woke up with a headache, so I apologize for that. I'm just not. Uh, I had a headache last night, and I had a little bit of one this morning. I'm feeling a little bit better, but. I chose not to make a video last night about the whole CM Punk thing. Um, today, I had an entire video planned about the Miami Dolphins, all about the Miami Dolphins. I was going to talk more about the Jets game from Friday. I was going to talk about the latest injuries with the teams, uh, with the team, and possibly going out and signing Derek Barnett, who was released from the Philadelphia Eagles. So I had all that planned today. And then I had to scrap all of it because at the end of Survivor Series last night, WWE pulled a fast one on us and they had the return of CM Punk. And it's by far, not even close, the biggest moment in professional wrestling of 2023. It is the biggest never say never moment in wrestling history in my opinion because you look back at 2014 when CM Punk was fired on the phone and delivered it from an email in his on his wedding day and everything that happened with him in WWE you would never think in a million years that this guy would be back in the WWE and then he sits out for wrestling in seven years and he goes to AEW. And I'm like, this is awesome. This is going to get AEW to where they need to be. And not only did CM Punk not help AEW, CM Punk hurt AEW because of his backstage environment and his backstage um, fights with the Elite and Jack Perry and putting Tony Khan in danger. Now, I will say, when he's on screen, and when he's on television, CM Punk is my favorite wrestler of all time. Because CM Punk can easily captivate you on the microphone with his words and in the wrestling ring. He's one of the best storytellers in professional wrestling. I'm thrilled about this. And... In August of 2021, I stopped watching WWE. Now, I continued here and there. I would tune into the uh, pay-per-views. I would tune into WrestleMania. I would tune into the Royal Rumble. I would tune into SummerSlam. I would tune into Money in the Bank. But as far as the weekly television shows go, I had no interest in it because the product was so bad. And even when it was getting up to its best last year with the bloodline and Sami Zayn. I kept up with it on Twitter, but I still didn't watch the product fully. Um, and it needed to take something big, I feel like, to get me back. And this does it. This right here, I'm captivated. CM Punk back in WWE is going to make me watch WWE full-time again. Now, we're still in the middle of the NFL season. There's a couple shit Monday night game, uh, Monday night football games coming up. But um, I'll be at one in Miami in two weeks. But after the football season's over, man, I want to tune into Raw every Monday night. Because I, want, I know that CM Punk is going to be on the show. And if I had to guess, he's going to be on Raw. And he makes me want to watch. I don't care if it's AEW, if it's WWE, if it's Impact Wrestling. If CM Punk is on the screen, I want to watch. And it's great for wrestling, man. AEW is thriving right now without CM Punk. We haven't heard one backstage incident issue since the firing of CM Punk. And CM Punk... Pokes the nose of the elite, 
Tony Khan, John Moxley, and Chris Jericho, and that's the up, the upper level of AEW. And AEW, they just signed Adam Copeland. They just signed Will Ospreay last week. AEW is going to be fine. But this is not about AEW. This is about CM Punk, and this is about WWE. And for business, this is awesome. For the product, this is fantastic. The road to the Royal Rumble, the road to WrestleMania is going to be unbelievable this year. I'm so excited to see what happens. I think CM Punk is a lock to win the Royal Rumble match this year and go on to face Seth Rollins at, at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, there's videos going around on Twitter that Seth Rollins was furious about the return of CM Punk. Apparently, nobody knew that CM Punk was going to be returning back to the WWE outside of the top people like Triple H, Nick Khan, and a few others. Apparently, nobody knew this was going to happen. And, C and Seth Rollins was furious. He was being held back by Michael Cole. He was flipping the middle finger at... Um, he was flipping the middle finger at CM Punk. He, he was saying, if you watch the videos on Twitter, he was saying, you're a problem, you're a problem, all that stuff. And then he was speaking to Michael Cole, and he's like, security better tell him to get out of here before I go backstage and knock him out. Now, I don't know if this is a work or a shoot, but Seth Rollins did an interview, I believe, two years ago, talking about if CM... If the, if he would ever want CM Punk back in a WWE locker room. And he called him a cancer. He called him a cancer to any wrestling locker room. And he said that any locker room that has CM Punk, it doesn't benefit them because he's always a problem. And now CM Punk is in a WWE locker room. And Seth Rollins is irate. Seth Rollins and CM Punk, whether it's a shoot or if it's a work, they're going to be working together sooner rather than later. Whether that's at the Royal Rumble or that's at WrestleMania, they're going to be working a program together. And I'm going to tell you what, with their life, with their real life problems going on, that's going to make the feud even better. That's going to make the feud between Seth Rollins and CM Punk more must see. And there's a plethora of dream matches for CM Punk more in WWE, even. It doesn't even end with Seth Rollins. You got CM Punk versus Roman Reigns, CM Punk versus Cody Rhodes, CM Punk versus Randy Orton, CM Punk versus Sami Zayn, CM Punk versus LA Knight. The list goes on and on. The roster in WWE is great. There's a lot of great wrestlers in WWE. I would obviously take AEW's roster over WWE's roster. Wrestling rise, I think AEW has way more better wrestlers than WWE does. But WWE still has a great plethora of talent on their roster for CM Punk to wrestle. Um, and I th thinking Seth Rollins is going to be his first feud, or maybe not, I could see him going on to win the Royal Rumble. At least in my opinion, he's a lock to win the Royal Rumble. He's going to win the World Championship. And honestly, I think Seth Rollins is mad because he knows his fate. Seth Rollins is on this great run as the world champion right now on Monday Night Raw. But CM Punk coming in, who else is he going to be dropping the World Heavyweight Championship to than CM Punk? And apparently there's other talent on the roster, not named Seth Rollins, upset with the return of CM Punk. And I'm guessing that that reason is... Uh, they're going to be knocked down on the card because there's no way this guy is not a main event. He's the biggest draw in the entire company next to Roman Reigns. They're the two biggest stars. He's going to be the biggest star on Monday Night Raw. He's going to be at Raw tomorrow night. Give that man a promo. Give that man a microphone. And let him go out there and say what he has to say about returning to the WWE for 15 minutes. Give him a promo and just let him let it loose. 
if he wants to take a shot at AEW, he can take a shot at AEW. Because when he came to AEW, he was taking shots at WWE. So if he wants to take a couple shots at AEW, by all means, I, I could care less. It's fun at the end of the day. Wrestling is supposed to be fun. Both companies are thriving right now, as I just said. The road to the Royal Rumble, the road to WrestleMania is going to be amazing. CM Punk being back in WWE is by far the best moment of the 2023 calendar year in professional wrestling. And it's only going to make the product better. And I haven't watched a full weekly show in over two years. And by God, I can't believe I'm about to say this. But I'm actually tuning in to Monday Night Raw tomorrow night to hear what CM Punk has to say. And I'm damn excited to hear what he has to say. Because who knows what he's going to say, man. But his backstage issues, he's got to get that resolved. Um, obviously, it was a mess in AEW. It was an embarrassment. And he came in to help the company. And he ended up hurting the company. And hopefully he comes back in to help the WWE. And I wish him nothing but the best. I wish WWE nothing but the best. I'm excited. This is a new spark that I personally needed to get excited for WWE again. And by God, they did it. Because I'm excited about the WWE going into 2024 with the signing of CM Punk. So I just wanted to come on here today and drop a short reaction video to CM Punk returning to the WWE. I'm more excited today than I was last night. Boy, the road to WrestleMania is going to be a movie this year. I can't wait, man. Um, but I'm getting out of here. Just want to stop in with a quick video today. Going to go watch some football in a little bit. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the Big Fight Field channel. We will be back with regularly scheduled programming, uh, regularly scheduled videos this week. Um, Wednesday, we'll do predictions. I dropped my predictions on Twitter uh, this morning, so hopefully I get all of them right. Um, I will do predictions for week 13 on Wednesday. Um, Thursday, we'll have nothing. Friday, we'll do, the pre we'll do the preview for Miami Dolphins, Washington Commanders, and then this time next Sunday, post-game recap video for the Miami Dolphins against the Washington Commanders. Be sure to subscribe to the Big Fight Fuel channel. Comment down below your thoughts on CM Punk's return to the WWE. Are you a fan of it? Do you hate it? There's a lot of people online that are not a fan of it. Personally, I'm a huge fan of it. CM Punk is my favorite wrestler of all time because whenever he's on screen, he captivates my attention. I want to see CM Punk whenever he goes, but some people are the opposite. So let me know down below in the comments. Hit the like button if you like what you heard from me. And follow me on Twitter, at Conlon underscore Joseph. And I will see you guys Wednesday for Week 13 Picks and Predictions here on the Big Fight Field channel. I will see you then. Have a good night. Stay safe. And as always, stay classy. And I'm out. Peace.